this is what gets to my, my, my constant harping on about national self-harm, right? We, we all know about wanting to reduce emissions and, you know, that, you know that, that matters a lot to some people, although, of course, we know in reality it matters not much to the planet because we're such a, a small emitter globally and global emissions are rising. But the point is, when you talk about our national inflation challenge and our cost of living challenge and the need to make sure we have jobs and manufacturing and export industries, all these issues come back to getting downward pressure on electricity prices. Yet all the policies put in place are making electricity less reliable and more expensive. The single most useful economic reform that could be made in this country would be to go back to dispatchable, affordable, reliable energy. Uh, well, that is ex exactly right. In fact, one of the Teals asked a question today, effectively claiming uh, that the floods in Queensland, where there's a monsoon trough, well, guess what? It's the monsoon and it's the wet season and it's raining, uh, was the result of climate change. I mean, it happens all the time. It's, it's, a, it's a wet summer. That's what happens. Uh, and we've seen reports in the paper today uh, from Origin, and you know, Frank knows what he's doing over there, 20% increase, a 20% increase in the cost of electricity. I mean, that is unaffordable for most Australians. And Chris Bowen's been in question time claiming that, uh, of course, it's going up, but it could have been much, much higher and much worse. Well, Look, the, the price is not set solely by whatever your, your feedstock is. It's not set by coal solely. 50% of your bill comes from transmission, and he wants tens of thousands of kilometres of more transmission, which will increase your bill even further. It is a tragedy. It is a tragedy. We're absolutely undermining ourselves as a country and we're actually just doubling down on it at the moment. Uh, I don't know when the reckoning is going to be, but it's going to be ugly when it comes. Thanks for joining us, Keith. That's great with you. It's coming soon. Yeah, uh, dear, dear, dear. Why would a country... A country... Here we are at the opposite end of the, of the world, isolated so much from our markets. One of our few advantages, one of our real natural strengths is cheap, reliable energy. Uranium, coal, gas, we've got more of it than most countries can dream of. We won't use it. We choose to make ourselves energy poor and let everybody else, else get rich on our resources. It is madness. Talk about it every night. It just drives me insane. And you're paying for it through your hip pocket and in some places through the loss of employment opportunities.